Aquarius, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for April 2018. So Aquarius, before we jump in here, there is now two, there are now two <laughs> Astrology 101 um, summer sessions. They will be happening in June. I have an AM and a PM session just to make sure that the summertime people have the opportunity to study as well. So all of that's in the description box down below. For Feel free to click and get signed up. I love recording when Mercury is just about retrograde. It's crazy every time. But speaking of Mercury retrograde, Mercury is coming into April in that retrograde fashion in the sign of Aries. And this is in our communication space. So the third house for you, Aquarius. So this is not only just communication in terms of talking, but the mental portion as well, what you're learning, what you're trying to absorb, maybe details or analytics you've been trying to pick out. If you are a teacher or a writer or a lecturer, or you're trying to sell something, you may see delays in these things, but it gives you an opportunity to relook at, recreate, um, refinance, re-edit, whatever it is, you get the opportunity with the communication planet to go back over the translation of these things to make sure that after Mercury comes out of retrograde, things can move forward a lot more swiftly. Now, one of the things that Mercury retrograde is phenomenal for is bringing back exes from the past. So there could be something and, you know, this is really great if you're a writer. This is wonderful. It maybe gives you something to add to your writing or something like that. What I would tell you is that no matter what comes back with your Mercury retrograde, use it use it use it and learn from it don't try and stop it don't try and avoid it don't be like oh my god i'm turning into a retro metro sexual none of that is happening just use the energy around you and whatever comes back i promise you your mental thought process will be different about it in just the upcoming weeks okay now at the beginning of the month we have got mars and saturn in a conjunction together. They're in the sign of Capricorn, which helps to bring them under a little bit of discipline so that we can do something with them besides watch them fight <laughs> and bonk up against each other. But instead, they're not too bad here. They're working together actually to help get things done. Now, this is in the 12th house space for you. So along with having Mercury in this retrograde in your mental space, then we've got this energy that's willing to do stuff, achieve, it's determined in the 12th house space. So if you are steady, if you are writing, if you're doing research, something like that, this is a wonderful energy to have in that 12th house space. This is also a great space for if you wanted to, if you were in therapy, if you're doing any of those things in the shadow sectors, creativity lies here, music, poetry, romance, those things lie here as well. So you can be using these energies to push those forward, to move forward. Now on the fourth and the fifth, in those two days, I still think that the energy is affecting on both days. We're going to see Mercury that is retrograde coming into a square with this conjunction between Mars and Saturn. Now Mercury over here in the third house, we've got the 12th house over here. The square says, I need action and I want attention now. So it will shock you almost into taking an action, into doing something about it, because the square is not going to wait. It wants a response right now. But the idea is that it's bringing on this strong determination, some, some sustained level of determination to get you towards your goal. So this is a very useful energy. What it can feel like, though, is kind of heavy, because this energy says, hey, I need you to grow up. We're going to grow up and make more mature decisions, take more mature action, so that we can get these things done. So look forward to seeing how this translates for you because ultimately the idea is to get you to the goal. Now this is further supported in just a couple days on the 14th when we see Jupiter, who is also retrograde in the sign of Scorpio, coming into a sextile with Pluto, who's over in Capricorn. So this energy in a sextile, we take advantage of an opportunity and we usually do something smart with it, or we use a talent and we do something smart with it. So over here, this could be something coming to, to 
to your career? Do you have a project you're working on behind the scenes? Do you have something you're working on behind the scenes that later in the year you want to unveil and show us yourself with? That's beautiful. What's nice about the support of the energy from the Mars-Saturn conjunction and this energy with the sextile is that this is effortless. All you have to do is take positive actions and the success is actually there. Um, you don't have to force it. You don't have to force things to change. You don't have to push things, right? If you show up, take some positive action, these things really do unfold. It's a wonderful energy. Now on the 15th, we've got Mars, uh, we've got Mercury coming out of retrograde here in that third house in Aries. Also sharing some space and energy with a new moon happening here in Aries. So this is a fresh new beginning to your thinking, your communication, that contract, that um, you're, the buying, the selling that you're doing, the things with the siblings, the things with the neighbors. Maybe you want to sign a new lease. All of this has new life and breath and air brought to it. And as we move forward, you have the opportunity to see those things um, play out a lot more smoothly than they were happening during the retrograde. But a lot of what happens as well is that your thinking may have had a high reevaluation of some things, so it's set on a little bit different footing. On the 17th, Saturn is going to take a retrograde, and on the 22nd, Pluto will take the retrograde. While these are subtle energies, they're still important because there's house cleaning to be done. They've been showing you where there's cracks in the 12th house, where you're still afraid, where you have fear, where you have, um, where you're slowing yourself down, where you're missing information. And as they take a nap, you have the opportunity to see, spot, and find these things so that you can pull them forward. Clean house, get rid of these old ideas. Um, um, be prepared to have some new ones come out by the time we get to September. It's a really lovely space. You can also reset your spiritual practices. Writing, journaling, meditation, all of that is phenomenal with this 12th house space lit up for you, Aquarius. Now on the 24th, Venus is going to move over into Gemini, into your fifth house. This is fun. This is social. This is true love. You're having conversation. It's all going so well. Even if you're already coupled up, this is just a wonderful day and space to express yourself and to be received very, very well. So if you've got a project you want to put out, you're communicating with kids, um, you're, you're, whatever it is, you've really got this little bit of honey on you that Venus brings to the table by bringing some diplomacy sensuality, some luxuriousness to the table. It's a wonderful energy. This could be a day too, as I'm just thinking about it, maybe you meet somebody and you're having a really wonderful conversation and it's just going very well. Venus, Venus loves love and it's happening here in the fifth house, so that could be happening. Now on the 29th of the month, as we're getting ready to end, we've got a full moon happening at six degrees of Scorpio. This is in a positive aspect with the sun Saturn trine that is also happening. So here in the 10th house, great energy to remember that the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, and or adjusted, right? But this trine is great for getting things done, looking deep, deep cleaning, deep thinking. What is the depth of what's changing in this 10th house for you? Whether this be the actual career at work or that soul level calling your value. What are you feeling like you're ready to suit up and show up and give to the world to add value? Even if you're retired, what is your purpose? What are you doing out there? Because if your heart is still beating, you have a purpose. But maybe this energy is helping you to see, you know, if you're ready to get to work and get it out there. So exciting times, Aquarius. So many of you have had some beautiful ideas and you've slowly been putting them into play. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with this month, the way you're thinking, you're researching, you're studying, you're writing. Maybe those things have been adjusted to get this thing a little bit more ready to launch out and be successful for you. So keep me posted. Keep me posted on all the exes that come back <laughs> and all the conversations from the past. Okay. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month, Aquarius. Bye.